The Bible speaks differently to husbands. Let me give you one instance of this. First Peter three, verse seven. What's it say? It says, husbands, likewise, dwell with your wives with understanding, giving honor to the wife as to the weaker vessel and as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers may not be hindered. Dwell with your wives with understanding. Treat them gently. Paul in Ephesians 5 speaks about cherishing and nourishing the wife. You don't bully your wife. You don't control her like she's a, a, one of the pets in the house. You love her. You treat her tenderly. You care for her. You comfort her. You sacrifice for her. You don't bully her. You, you don't treat her improperly. A pagan in the pagan mind, that sounded like a good idea. Yeah, show, show everybody who's the boss. And that's pagan advice. And unfortunately, that kind of advice is still taken. We have seen, we have seen, I've seen young men who think that leading a home means to bully the wife. And I've never seen that to be effective. I've said this before. I'm not going to go too long on this. I'll just say a couple things. I've said this before when I've taught on on, uh, marriage and family, when I've taught uh, Christian marriage and the role of a husband. I've said this, and and I don't mean it to sound... uh, it may be a, 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 an illustration that, that may be misunderstood. I hope it comes out clearly. But I have seen uh, even a, somebody's dog, even a pet, you can go someplace and you can even tell when, when the pet is not treated kindly. You can do that. You can see that. You know, you put your hand down to pet a dog and it moves and maybe gets... And, and you can tell someone's not treating this, this animal right. If you can see that with a dog, you can see that with children. You can see that with a wife. You can see that this person is not being treated well. The Bible teaches husbands to dwell with our wives according to knowledge. When he says dwell, that means make the house into a home. It's not your motel. It's not the place where you hang your hat and then go into the garage to spend the rest of the night with your hobby. You make the home into a home. Dwell with your wives. Dwell. Live with them. Make it a home, not a, not a motel. Dwell with your wives according to knowledge. Use your opportunities to study her, to understand her, so that you may really know her. A lot of men don't really know their wives because they don't study. They can tell me the batting average of their favorite ball player or how many touchdowns his quarterback threw but they can't tell me what her favorite color is. They can't tell me things about the wife. Why? Because they're not studying their wives. They're studying other things. So you dwell with your wife according to knowledge. You treat her with kindness. Why? Because she's weaker. Normally, physically, the woman normally will be weaker than the husband. It's not because you're stronger and badder. It's because there's a tenderness involved in caring for someone who is weaker than you. So you actually love them. You spend time getting to know them. And why is that? Because you are heirs together in the kingdom of God. Because loving one another is a benefit not just to each other, but to any children. And it can be a model to others. 